Now for photo etch B28 and B29 here, at first I was thinking that it, it wouldn't matter which one went where because all I'd have to do is just flip it over, but then I was realizing that, realizing that uh, because of the way the crease is for the, to make it easier to bend, uh, yeah, they are different. So I've made up a couple of different tins here to keep them separate. And also I was trying to figure out now where on the side of this, uh, maybe I should nip them off and then we'll talk about this. Now, uh, Ozzy Peter mentioned to me how I'm not doing a very good job. Well, now he didn't put it in these words, but he mentioned how I'd, I'm leaving part of the tab on the part. And I've got to do a better job here of, you know, having a nice clean cut and don't leave any you know, remove, in other words, if I leave it a little bit on, take it off. And what I had commented back was, or replied back, was to the effect of that I am becoming satisfied with the mediocre. I am becoming, you might say, a little bit, is it lazadaisical or something like that? And I've got to get back to the way I was a year ago when I was doing the Bismarck and I was, you know, wanted to do a reasonable job. Okay, so this is number 29. Okay, so now we'll do number 28. Now we need two E31s, and they somehow are going to be connected with this photo etch we nipped off. Obviously this comes off and right here and right here is where we just nipped it off. But see this little nub right here? Just just right there and there? I believe that stays on. Turn it up maybe so you can see it better. On the other hand maybe I'm going to make it worse. Now the idea of having it on this little block of wood so I can press down and it, uh, as you can see it nipped off fairly flush. It uh, leaves very little trimming to do later because something like this I find I break very very easily. 
Now this is the piece we don't want to take off. Should be another one here. There it is. So I can press down fairly firmly, and the uh, it does a better job usually. Of course, because I'm trying to show you now, it's not going to work. See if I can just trim that just slightly here. No. There's only so much that these uh, Tamiya nippers will do excellent as they are. Now as long as we're all set up here like this, you notice on the end of these pieces here, there's what appears to be a little a little bracket or something. Uh, I believe that has to somehow be, that fits into the uh, little uh, piece of superstructure. Pretty sure. Okay, first of all, I am not going to try and sand these down anymore, like where we just cut it off with the cutter. Yeah, it could, it could be uh, trimmed a little bit better, but this is just so bendable. This, this plastic is so easily broken. I'm, you know, I'm just not going to do it. Um, you probably can't even see right now that it's, that it's not. And, and you're just right, right over top of it here. Uh, I will move in a little bit in a minute, but I was kind of concerned that where's my tweezers okay this b28 here which is supposed to go very carefully now okay it is supposed to be mounted on the side of this you can see one goes here and these this goes here and at first i thought well how am i going to know where they go now you can kind of maybe see on right here if i turn this a little bit okay you can see right there there's a little hole Okay, so that little hole is obviously for the for the bottom one here. This bigger hole is obviously for this part here that we looked at. Uh, and then, well, I'll, I'll move in and I'll show you. Okay, here we go again. Just drop this down in there. All right. So, so this one here, it goes right there. Now, this one here then, would go in that little place right there. Remember I said we have to be careful not to, to uh, scrape that off when I was getting rid of the flashing along the top there? Well, and I said something that I think that I thought maybe it was supposed to represent a light. Well, no. That is supposed to be a place where, uh, where the end of the uh, photo etch goes. Okay, so that kind of makes it simple, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so this one goes in here, and this one here has to go up, up here in that corner. So that means that this whole thing has to be bent a little bit. Let's see if I can just grab hold of the end here, like that. Okay, so that would mean that this one here should be bent back. Is it going to bend back at the where it's supposed to? Yeah, it looks like it is. Something like that. Then it's supposed to sort of fit like a tripod. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this on camera. But, but you can sort of see the way it's supposed to go there. This one goes in here and then it has to lean forward enough. Okay, I can see how it's supposed to go, but I'm afraid, folks, I'm going to have to do it off camera. It's just uh, too precarious here for me, and I'm just too shaky and whatever. Okay, so when I was trying to see 
you know, how I was going to do this, I suddenly realized that maybe I can do it on camera. Okay, now what I want to do is drop this down in that hole. And I'm going to do it one leg, you might call it, at a time. See, maybe I've got to get a little bit more friction going on there. Maybe if I bring it in like this. Where's the pointing device? Get it underneath there. Now, I don't want to bend that. I just want it to press down into that hole. Okay. Now that you can see what I'm doing here, I'll slip the macro lens on and we'll bring it the rest of the way. to just pop into that hole. It's almost there. There. All right. Now, this might not be a good idea. This is just sort of a test. I want to see what will happen if I lift this end up just a little bit here. Can I... So that the angle will be a little bit more correct. Is it going to stay in the hole? I think so. We'll see if I can get something underneath there. Very carefully now. Okay, it looks like it's still there. There's going to be very little extra bending to do. Does it look like it's coming out of that hole or is it still in there? I think it's still in there. Okay, now I'm going to take some CA Thin here. not coming off. Now once again, you can see it if it uh, I can't tell if I got it or not. I think I did. I think some came off. Try it a little bit more here. This is uh, when I always try a little bit more. That's generally when Murphy pops out of his box. Okay, I think I got it. Let's just leave that for a little while and see what happens. Okay, approximately an hour has passed here and I'm trying to figure out how can I, how can I release this without putting a, you know, sudden stress on that little joint. I'm, I'm assuming that the CA Thin has uh, solidified or cured. And, uh, you know, if I start wiggling around here, it's, it's going to be wiggling on the joint. If I could just very gently spread the tweezers, you know, by, by turning the screwdriver, that might work. I'm just going to give it a try here. It only has to be about a millimeter or less. Okay. Yeah, we got it. All right. Now. Get a little block of wood on there. Because we do want to take a close look, right? Okay, put the macro lens back on. Here in Winnipeg, we're under what you might call lockdown. We're under some pretty stiff rules and regulations, and if you don't adhere to them, you can uh, get fined. And that's a good thing. Anyway, one of the regulations is that other than immediate family that lives in your house all the time, you can have one other guest on a regular basis, like one friend that can come over and one of my neighbors uh, approached me the other day and he says, uh, could I be your one friend? And so I said, sure. 
Well, yesterday at 3.30 he walked in because that's the appointed time. And uh, I'd forgotten he was coming and I was kind of embarrassed. It really threw me for a loop. You remember yesterday after, in yesterday's episode I said something about, well, it's 20 after 3 or something? Well, it really was. And I got to editing out the program and, or the, the video and trying to get it uploaded to YouTube. And, and, and uh, here's my friend coming over wanting to have coffee with me. Well, we're not going to do that today. We're going to get our, uh, our program all edited and uploaded to YouTube before he gets here. At this very moment, it's five minutes after three, and I think I'm going to make it. Anyway, I'm going to have to call it quits here. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.